Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar. A key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, which wasn't that hard as the previous session was an indecisive spinning top. The market resumed its decline, but was again halted by the combination of basically all the moving averages, which range from 108.76 down to 108.37, plus the 50% Fibonacci line for 2023 at 108.64. Overhead, we have the important 50% Fibonacci line for the January 2021 to September 22 move at 109.44. Now, this had been a good capping resistance in recent days. Further overhead, we have the broken green highlighted lower bull channel line, currently at 110.04 of the October 23 to late January 2024 bull channel. This has also acted as an overhead capping action, and I'm still wondering if the market will now trawl along the underside of this lower bull channel line. Meanwhile below, well, we have congestion below, but nothing to write home about until May 2023 low at uh, 107.66 and the more important April 2023 low at 107 and a quarter. So far today, well, a small, it has to be small, as there is so much congestion to wade through, a small follow on lower pressing down through the 50% Fibonacci line at 108.64 and all the moving averages in their turn being held up at the moment by the long moving average. Cable, aka okay, sterling against the US dollar. A second, small, if lower, consecutive indecisive pattern yesterday. This time it was an indecisive doji cross. The market was this time stumped by the lesser Fibonacci line at 107.21 and the short moving average of all things again at 107.26. This move down is still within the previously mentioned general congestion, now support formed between December 23 to January 2024 from the 126 area up to the 127 and three quarter area. Within this congestion also sits the lower time, currently at 126.96, and that's highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. And that's of the broken November to December 2023 shallowly bullish shift pitchfork. The lower time is further reinforced by the short medium moving average, currently at 126.86. Overall, the market is still in between the lower time below and the middle time above, which is currently at 128.26. Further overhead, we have the November 2020 low at 128.52 and a declining bright red highlighted July 2021 to date downtrend currently at 128.52. It's interesting that, isn't it? The same levels. This downtrend is still the one to watch. Well, further down, we have the recent February based uptrend currently at 126.49 and a paralleling medium moving average currently at 126.29. Now, so far today, Seemingly a sustained attempt lower to try and push down through the lower time and the 50% Fibonacci line of the June 2016 to September 22 move at 126.99, as well as the short medium moving average and possibly the September 2020 low at 126.72. Euro sterling. A counter to counter bearish dark cloud cover pattern, and also a possible shooting star pattern after the previous session's immediate countering bullish harami. The finish ended up with once more close back below the combined December 2022 and 2023 lows at 85.45 and 85.47, respectively. The top side was capped, unsurprisingly, by the oft mentioned declining short medium moving average, currently 85.54, though it was penetrated. We still have further recent congestion running up as far as about 85.75. Though, continue keeping an eye on that short medium moving average as its capping influence has been seen here since mid-February. 
overall. The market's still within the breach, but not broken. Purple highlighted, late January, small expanding wedge pattern, currently 85.26 to 86.12. Now, in the recent process of moving higher, the market left behind a similar pipe bottom in March to the one seen in mid-February, leading to speculation that we might have a larger double bottom pattern formed with these two pipe bottoms. More on this should it develop. A little further down, we have the support of the dark blue middle time, currently at 8509. Of the November, December 2023 bearish shift pitchfork, and a little lower still is the bright red neckline of the May to August 2022 head and shoulders continuation pattern, currently at 84.99. This is a further significant support. Overhead, beyond the short medium moving average and the recent congestion running up as far as about 85 and three quarters or 85.75, well, we seemingly have little until what looks like some heavy duty congestion formed from the crossover of the upper trend line, currently 86.12, and the purple highlighted expanding wedge pattern. Uh, the dark blue upper time, currently 86.09, plus the recent dead cross of the medium moving average, currently 86.02, down through the long moving average, currently 86.06. .06. So far today, a reactionary move. Yes, another one. A reactionary move back up, this time pushing over the December 22 and December 23 lows, if only just and looking possibly on occasions like a bullish engulfing pattern in the making. US dollar against the Japanese yen. A fifth bullish white soldier yesterday, but really it was just a higher indecisive spinning top pattern. Below, we still have the near term support of the rising short medium moving average currently at 148.32, highlighted in green on my daily chart. Whilst the top side was again capped, somewhat surprisingly, by the slow declining short moving average, uh, currently at 149.26. This is still all a follow on from early last week and late the previous week's three day bullish morning star pattern. Looking below, we have support from the combination of the lesser Fibonacci uh, line at 146.33 and the slowly rising long moving average, currently 146.54, as well as closer in from the flatlining medium moving average, currently 147.47. <laughs> Top side, we have congestion from late February between approximately 150 to 150 and three quarters, with beyond that the peak back in November last year at 151.92. Overall prices are still within two major pitchfork patterns. We have the February 2022 to January 2023 bullish shift pitchfork highlighted in purple on my daily chart. We're in between the lower time below, currently at 144.22, and middle time above, currently 158.30.30. We're also in between the middle time above, currently 152.53, and the lower time below, currently 145 and a quarter, 45.25 of the July to December 2023 bullish Andrews pitchfork, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. Now, so far today, a strong break upwards over the surprising resistance of the short moving average and into the congestion between 150 and 150 and three quarters. And it's moving towards the top side of it, just moving just underneath 150.50 at the moment. US dollar against the CNH, the offshore Chinese yuan. A fifth bullish white soldier yesterday, but really it was an indecisive top, spinning top that was capped by the recent mid February to date downtrend, currently at 720.74. This market still looks like it has elements of an advanced block pattern. Now, the advanced block multi session pattern is traditionally seen as a bearish reversal. However, data indicates that close to six out of 10 times, it acts as a bullish continuation pattern. So I'll be interested to see if the market follows the transition or the data. Nevertheless, it could be seen as another move closer to the lower uptrend, currently at 721.57 of a dark blue highlighted, mid-January to date ascending triangle pattern, currently 721.57 to 723.60, 60. Now last week, I laid out some ideas for potentials below for breaking out of such an ascending triangle pattern. Thus, a primary target X is down in the 7.1605 zone. For secondary, how to reach target X1 down in the 7.10.70 zone. The opportunities low are gradually diminishing as we now have all but the long moving average as supports below, as well as the May 2020 high at 7.19.64 and the late February low at 17.17.97. 7, which is just above some recent congestion between approximately 7.14 even to 7.16 even. 
Meanwhile, the top side has had a lot of resistance in the way, though prices have waded up through that. And the only one left of note before the dark blue highlighted uptrend is the mid-February to date downtrend, which was being tested yesterday. Now, so far today, a push up through the overhead mid-February to date downtrend, and moving closer now to the dark blue broken uptrend. Above this, we have the flatlining long moving average, currently 722.77. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A bullish opening white mariposa and bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, which wasn't ha that hard on the latter pattern as the previous session was an indecisive doji cross. However, the strength of the move higher was a little unexpected. You see, prices punched up and closed over the neckline extension of the February to April 2021 head and shoulders top currently at 1678.79 and reached up to stop just short of the combination of the highlight which is highlighted in dark blue of the middle time currently at 1688.53 of the December 2023 to January 2024 mildly bearish shift pitchfork as well and more importantly I suspect the support which is now turned resistance at 1688.97 now, this congestion at 1688.97 was formed in mid-December 2015 and more recently featured in mid-August and late December last year, as, so it has some pedigree. Beyond these, there is the flatlining short-medium moving average, currently 1701.60.60, and then the April 2016 low at 1703.89, which is also the gateway to some recent February-based congestion up to the March 2016 low at 1709.23. Meanwhile, below, we have some congestion between 1670 to 1680 from August last year, as well as the 2023 low at 1662.11. Now, so far today, a follow on higher to, to test the congestion at 1688.97, as well as the dark blue middle time. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.